Well, welcome to my next fighter video, and this fighter we are covering is Big Puncher, Hurricane Rubin Carter. Um, a gentleman requested I do his video, so here it is. I'm also doing another request video. Um, I'm not going to do too many requests, but um, I need to get back to my main list, what I'm working on. But I thought I'd do a few requests since people asked for them. So we will go through Rubin Carter's career 20 fights at a time and see how his career looks, after which he will join my retired database. So, Rubin Carter starts out with a record of 17 wins, 3 losses, no draws with 11 KOs, leaving himself a combined record of 17 and 3 with 11 KOs. Now, Rubin Carter fought and beat the excellent top 10 contender Florentino Fernandez, a big puncher. He also fought and beat top 10 and top 3 rated contender Holly Mims, also then went on to beat top 10 and top 3 rated contender Gomeo Brennan. He then lost to top 10 contender Jose Gonzalez before beating, my goodness, um, another top name, top 10 and top 3 rated George Benton. So over his first 20 professional fights, Ruben Carter fought no world champions and no Hall of Fame fighters. So he's zeros against champions, zeros against Hall of Famers. Now against top 10 rated fighters in his first 20 pro outings, okay, Ruben Carter has five fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of four wins and one loss. And Ruben Carter has had three fights against top three rated fighters. Um, he's currently unbeaten against top three rated fighters with a record of three win, no loss and no draw. Um, Ruben Carter has not fought a ring champion, nor has he fought any fighters who are pound for pound rated. So there is the first 20 fights for Hurricane Ruben Carter. Some good names on there, you know, Brennan, Fernandez, Benton. Already beaten some good names in his first 20 pro outings. Now, he didn't have a large career, okay? So let us go on to um, the next slide where we will close out his basic career breakdown. So let's see what he adds in his next fight run. So, Hurricane Rubin Carter, okay, goes 10 wins, 9 losses, 1 draw with 8 KOs in his final 20 pro fights, leaving himself a record of 27 wins, 12 losses, 1 draw with 19 knockouts. Now, Rubin Carter, okay, fought and lost to the excellent top 10 and top 3 rated contender, Joey Archer, um, who was also a pound for pound rated fighter in my ratings, and he gained an incredible win, okay, over six time lineal champion Emil Griffith, okay, who was a full house. He was top 10, um, top 3 rated, and a ring champion. Um, he's a Hall of Famer and also pound for pound rated. That is his greatest win of his career. He then beat, okay, future heavyweight champion, top 10 and top 3 rated champion. Jimmy Ellis, which is another good win. He then fought Joey Giardello, another full house, top 10 and top 3 rated ring champion, um, a Hall of Famer and pound for pound rated, but Ruben Carter loses to Joey Giardello. He also then loses to Luis Manuel Rodriguez, okay, the excellent welterweight and middleweight contender of the time, who was top 10 and top 3 rated ring champion, Hall of Famer and also pound for pound rated. From those two massive names, Giardello and Rodriguez, he then went on to another massive name of his time, the Nigerian fighter Dick Tiger, another full house, top 10 and top 3 rated ring champion and Hall of Famer. Dick Tiger, of course, was also pound for pound rated. That was another defeat for Ruben Carter. He then fought Luis Rodriguez, um, the top 10 and top 3 rated Hall of Fame, pound for pound rated fighter, a second time losing again. Hurricane Rubin Carter's final fight under criteria for these videos was against former top 10 contender Stan Harrington, which was a defeat. So, Hurricane Rubin Carter ends his career with six fights against champions, um, comprising two wins and four losses. He ends also with five fights against Hall of Fame fighters, with one win, of course, over the great Emil Griffith and four defeats. And Rubin Carter ends with 13 fights against top 10 rated fighters, with a record of six wins and seven defeats. Ruben Carter had double figures, going five wins, six losses against top three rated fighters, and he had five fights against ring champions, going one win and four loss, and six fights against pound for pound rated fighters, going one win and five loss. So there's the basic career breakdown of Hurricane Ruben Carter. Let's go on to his stat slides. Now, Ruben Carter beat two individual world champions. Um, in his career and fought a combined 56 rounds overall against world champions. He did beat one Hall of Fame fighter, the aforementioned Emil Griffith, and also, also and altogether fought 46 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Hurricane Rubin Carter had one world title fight, of course, that point defeat um, for the middleweight championship, so he's no win, one loss, no draw, no KOs. 
with no defences in title fights. And unified title fight record, Hurricane Rubin Carter had won, going no win, one loss, no draw. Now, title fight rounds for Rubin Carter. Rubin Carter comes in at 15 title fight rounds overall. Now, the two big stats at the bottom of this slide, okay, the fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. Rubin Carter ends on 13 fights under that criteria and wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. Hurricane Rubin Carter ends with six wins from those 13. So there's his basic creative breakdown and his um, first stat slide for this big punching from a middleweight contender. So... Let us now go on to something um, that Ruben Carter was quite good at, which is knocking people out. So let us go on to Ruben Carter's KO stats. Now, Ruben Carter, from his 27 wins, scored 19 knockouts. 14 of those were inside three rounds, so a mass percentage of his KOs were in three rounds. And Ruben Carter also scored eight first-round wins in his career. Now, KOs against champions, Hall of Famers, um, he doesn't have a KO in a title fight. I don't know why I put that on there. KOs against champion and Hall of Fame is the same fighter, Emil Griffith. So Rubin Carter has one KO over a champion, one over a Hall of Fame, and zero um, in title fights. So there are the KO stats for Hurricane Rubin Carter. Some people sometimes say, well, you put a wrong number in. Putting all these letters and numbers in a video, slide after slide, it's easy to make an error. The fact is I picked them up. So, ring ratings and longest unbeaten run. So, Hurricane Rubin Carr was rated for three years as a top 10 rated fighter. Um, two of those three years, Rubin Carter was also top three rated, um, and Rubin Carter never held the ring title. Now, under the ring rating system, for showing how long and how high and how consistent fighters were rated, under my unique scoring system, Hurricane Rubin Carter scored 24 ring rating points overall. Of course, we'll have a top 50 in that um, coming in October. That's a new rating that's been added that we'll get a top 50 video in the ratings updates. So, the longest unbeaten run for Hurricane Rubin Carter was a six-fight unbeaten run. So, there are the ring ratings and longest unbeaten run for Hurricane Rubin Carter. We go from this puncher to the next request, which is another puncher, a heavyweight contender who was a massive puncher, David Tua. That will be the next video I do. And it's fascinating seeing his stats next to Wilder's. Mm. Um, but anyway, let's go to Rubin Carter's pound for pound information. Um, Hurricane Rubin Carter was top 10 pound for pound rated for zero years. He was also obviously never top three rated pound for pound, nor number one pound for pound rated. So he was never rated in my pound for pound ratings. Pound for pound fighters beaten. Hurricane Rubin Carter beat one. Um, and fights against pound for pounders. All in all, Rubin Carter had six fights against pound for pound rated fighters under my ratings. And his record against pound for pounders stands at one win, five loss, no draw. So there are the pound for pound ratings for Rubin Carter. I'm, I'm currently working on my pound pound ratings, 1923. That's my, why my videos have slowed a little bit. I'm really powering work into that now so I can get those five videos ready. Um, I'm also updating my database as well, in the middle of getting videos ready. So my video output will slow a little bit, but will speed back up again once I get those other two things finished. So let us go on to title accomplishments for Hurricane Rubin Carter. And of course, he never won a world title, so Hurricane Rubin Carter has no title fight accomplishments um, to name. So there is the video for Hurricane Rubin Carter. Now, Rubin Carter will, of course, um, take place in my middleweight ratings in my retired fighter database. And they may not rate that high in there. Heavy company in there. Agla, Monzone, Steel, Zale. All of them are in there. But Rubin Carter will join in there. And there'll be many more contenders to come, including fighters like Florentino Fernandez in the future. I'm out for now.